Is it, right? right? Is it? Yep. I got mine. Yeah. I use mine. Yeah, okay, good. Yep. So, real estate uh, dashboard. What is it for everyone else? You know what your dashboard I've is? never used it, but I use you. Okay, so you're good. <laughs> well, the bottom line is it's a tool, guys, right? So, we answer our phone. So, you just pull, pick up your phone. I keep saying guys, so I apologize. Guys, gals, it's just kind of a universal word that, I, that, I, uh, that, I, that, I, that we use, I guess, right? Is there a better word? People, guys. People? <laughs> so your real estate dashboard for your smartphone. So here's what it looks like. I should have used one of you guys as an agent. My apologies. Um, yeah, that you should have. Yes, I should. I should have used you, actually. <laughs> so, 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 so I'll go quick past this one. So there's some options here. Order and inspection, view inspections, text us, call us, email us. It's all right there on your phone. Uh, basically, when you click on order and inspection, this is live into our system now. Okay, live, not not not, not just like filling out a form. Uh, click on a day. What shows up on here is Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. and 1:30 p.m. Those two times. Can we do inspections outside of those times? Absolutely. But generally speaking, we try to stick to 9 and 1:30 uh, for the most part. So you, you know, we kind of train each other, all of us, right? So I do my best to train you, 9 and 1:30. You know, you train me on some other stuff. Um, but again, we do go outside of that. Uh, it's tough doing inspections at night when there's no light. That's always challenging. And Saturday's not on here, but we do offer Saturday Saturday inspections. So when you click on that, it asks you for some basic basic information. Um, we already know it's you. It's your real estate dashboard. So immediately, I get a text. It goes into our system. My email. That time is cleared off our schedule. We've got your client information, email, and phone number. Then you're going to get a phone call from us saying, hey, what do you want with this inspection? But you know right now, if you're doing it at midnight, it's cleared off our, our schedule. Or if you don't like to book in on inspections, you can pull it up. Hey, Mr. So-and-so, I see those guys have Thursday at 9 a.m. available and Friday at 1.30. Go on their website and book it. So again, live scheduling on our website. It's not just filling out a form. You're going, then you're choosing what you want. I want a radar inspection. I want a termite inspection. Um, you know, whatever you want. And then they hit complete, boom, it's done. It is officially on our schedule. And exactly two hours after that process occurs, you're going to get an email. Client's going to get an email with our inspection agreement and payment information. And the seller's agent's going to get an email as well. So everyone's also going to get a 24-hour reminder. All this stuff, you know, I've got automated. 24-hour reminder by text message and by email as well. Does it work, Paul? Yes, it does. Yes, it works. Thank you. It looks like a charm. It looks like a charm, right, every time. Uh, view inspection. So any inspection we've done for the last year, they're stacked in there. Just click view. You're looking for that termite report. You're coming to closing. You need it. Boom. It's right there at your fingertips. Um, any, any, anything we've done for the last year is going to be stacked in there uh, very easily, both on the desktop version and this version. There's a home inspection <coughs> report. you got other reports in there. Radon report, a termite report, a mold report in this case. Um, it's all stacked in there. Create an icon on your phone. Basically, you do that by, if you've got an iPhone, when you open it up, there's a little box in the bottom here. Click that. It gives you an option to add to your home screen. Add it to your home screen. You now have an icon on your home screen. Sometimes these things get deleted. And the only way that happens for us is if your client goes in our system and enters you as a new agent and enters information that doesn't match something we have, all of a sudden, it kills your dashboard and creates a new one, essentially. So he just calls up and gives send you a new one. But we'll merge you as an agent so we have you at one time. When your client's on our website booking something, type in their first name. Any agent we have in that system is going to come right up and they'll just choose you, essentially. Um, so rolling right through, add to your home screen. That's how you do it. So here's what it looks like on your computer. And we have a new feature. So our software allows you to use your dashboard plus your inspection report to create a point-and-click repair request with minimal typing. How long do people spend on the repair request in here? That, guys, I want to tell you, it is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> it is just awesome. Right. It saves you. You can work out an inspection, uh, like a, a... Repair request? A repair request in five minutes. Five minutes, repair request. How, many time, how much time are we spending on that now here? Anyone spending more than five minutes? About 20 this morning. Uh, about 20, there you go. Yeah. So real quick, um, uh, real quick on that. So, yeah, so I'm not going to go into detail here, guys, uh, for the sake of time. Um, so right there, that box repair request list, what it does is open the summary page of our report and makes it an editable document. Gives you four choices, repair, replace, fund, or other. So of course we're going to delete some items because we're not going to ask for everything, right? 
Well, I mean, some people do, but most, most of the time we don't. <laughs> so, who asks for everything? Who does that? <laughs> he actually does sometimes ask for everything. That's actually true. That's actually true. That's good. He's going like this. Too. That's all right. Never mind that part. So, so you click on repair request list. Opens our summary page of the report. Click delete, repair, replace, fund, or other. Our statement's in there. Page three, item two, displaced walkways. Recommend repair, replacement of the displaced walk. You can add text to that. You can take text out of that, whatever you want. Save it. Now you start to create your, your repair request list. When you're all done, the bottom you say um, uh, create PDF. Creates a PDF document. That's one option. You put on your repair addendum if it's okay with Sandy. See attached repair list. Boom. Put it right in there with it. If you don't want to do that, it's an editable document at that point. You can cut and paste all that stuff directly into your repair addendum. Uh, either way, either way it works great. But I would say five minutes is an accurate yeah. amount of time that you would spend doing that because cool. you're not retyping things mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I look at her smile on there. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> yes. Okay, so I uh, already gone through that. So, branding. So, we actually communicate with your client 12 to 18 times a year for you. So, how many times do you think I'm at a dinner party and I'm talking to someone and they say, hey, I just want a house? Like, awesome, great, where is it? You know, What's the next thing I ask? Who did your inspection? No, who's your real estate? Well, I do ask that too. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but before that, who's the real estate agent? Because I want to find out if they're cheating on me or not, by the way, too. So. <laughs> anyway, who's your real estate agent? So what's the response? Um, honey, what was the name of our real estate agent again? Um, they forget. I know it's unbelievable because you've spent how much time with them that they forget. It's just unfathomable. Um, of course, they don't all forget. They forget. So 12 to 18 times a year, we're going to keep you in front of the client for the lifetime of them being in the property. How we're going to do that is through HomeBinder. Let's see what's the next side I have here. Yeah, HomeBinder. So basically, we're giving them maintenance reminders. In this case, it's filter service due. So I've set all these up. You know, shut off your hose moves in the wintertime, clean your gutters, change your filter, you know, things like that, basically. What HomeBinder is, though, is an electronic three-ring binder for your home, and people do use it. You know, I had an insurance guy at my house just recently. We were talking about inventory and this and that. You can inventory everything in your house into HomeBinder and have an electronic cloud-based version of every piece of inventory in that house. Paint colors by room um, as you do improvements to the house. So, and, and you know, I pitch it to agencies that, you know, Make sure they're using it. So it's great reason for you to follow up with them 30 days after closing. Hey, are you using your home binder that Fox Mountain Property Inspections gave you? Oh, yeah, I think I saw something about that, but uh, no, I'm not. It's a great tool because any improvement they do to the house, they can start logging that stuff in. So when you go to sell it five to seven years from now, they can just print a list of everything that was done in that house to improve the house. Sort of becomes like a Carfax for your home. It does become a bit like a Carfax uh, for your home uh, to some degree, and, and uh, I wasn't going in this direction, but there is a company called Housefax, and they were actually bought out by House, bought out by House Check. Housefax has 100% data on every home in Frederick County in Maryland, and uh, they've gone into public records, and they've skimmed through all that stuff, and they take it out every piece of information, permits, everything on that house. Um, we were going to offer it as a service because we could check permits that way, um, but I do have a little group of agents that we consult with if we're going to offer something new. And they much, very much was like, no, we don't want that. Because <laughs> so, basically we're looking at the permanent history of the house. And, you know, all kinds of things can come up in this situation. It's not what we do. We don't check for permits, essentially. So anyway, 12 to 18 times a year, co-brand and maintenance reminders. All you got to do is set up your profile on HomeBinder once. You're good to go. Did you set up your profile? I, I have, uh, yeah, my profile is set up. It is, okay. Sorry. I'm you got to go, no problem. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm 57 minutes in, I said one hour, so we will be done by then. So other presentations uh, that we do do, guys, I mentioned uh, I need a printer for that, uh, which is a great one. It's one hour, it's entertaining, it's interesting. You'd be surprised what you need permits for. Preparing your listing for the home inspection at a fraction of the cost. So it's a great 20-minute lunch and learn kind of thing as well. We talk about how to help prepare that listing for the home inspection. So you're not hit side-blinded by things that could have been just addressed at hand because you had a receipt in advance because you had a receipt there saying that this was looked at. 
So great conversation about how not to be surprised by a home inspection. Understanding environmental testing reports, writing the business plan. Some of you know maybe Erin uh, in my office has an MBA. She also has another business. She writes business plans. Um, we've done a number of workshops at, uh, at brokerages uh, teaching you guys how to write your business plan. It's just a very good 45 minutes of really breaking it down. We've even done like in a room like this a workshop type situation um, where we literally get some things out and start helping you build your business plan. Um, so that's something, you know, Sam and I can talk about more uh, um, and so forth, but, but it is a great process to help provide some structure to, to doing that. And she's done business plans for anything from a $20 million company uh, to helping other real estate agents, uh, essentially. So, um, and more. So I've got a list of presentations. It could be HVAC equipment. Like I did mention, we are working right now getting six CE classes approved. Um, so I'm hoping in the next 60, 90 days, we started that process in November. Um, just take some time to, to get it done. So in closing, we tell the story of a property in a common neutral fashion in order to inspire confidence in home buyers and earn the loyalty of our valued real estate agents. And we very much appreciate you guys. Um, many of you know that I come from a family of real estate agents. My mother's been a broker since 1976. I think they have 260 agents uh, with them right now up in Connecticut. And um, I appreciate how hard you guys work uh, for sure. So, um, of course, we're branded. This is basically what we wear to an inspection khakis, lettered shirt, so on and so forth. The vehicles are branded. Uh, they're not all branded, most of them are. Um, so, thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you.